Hi guys, thanks very much for tuning in. Um, my name's Steve. I'm going to show you guys today how to create and start a Selenium WebDriver project. Um, I think a lot of the demos online are either too verbose, they're too complex, and it really doesn't need to be. Um, one of my frustrations years ago uh, when I started was being able to just get the project up and running. That was the trickiest part for me. Uh, once you get into the Selenium uh, library and you're familiar with Java or whichever language you're using, it's quite straightforward to, to get a little project up and running, whether it's page object model or whether you're just doing it in a single class or wherever you're up to in your learning. Hopefully this video will be really helpful. So I'm going to be using IntelliJ today. That is my preferred IDE. Um, and I'm going to create a, a brand new project um, so we can see absolutely everything from scratch. So let's get started. So this is the landing screen. I'm going to create a new project. We want it to be a Maven project. We're going to create that from an archetype. And then we're going to look for Maven archetype quick start. So we're going to select that one. That should give us a source folder with a main and a test. Group ID, we don't really mind. Artifact ID, we don't really care at the moment. This is all bog standard stuff. In fact, let's give it a, a name. So let's call it Selenium Starter Pack. That'll do. You can name that whatever you want. And the first thing it does, it takes us to the POM. So it's important we say this down here. We're going to enable auto import, which will, whatever dependency we add into the POM, it will just be automatically brought into the project. So as you can see, um, we're up and running here with our very basic POM. Um, we've got JUnit in there, but I'm going to also add Selenium, which is obviously what we need to be able to get started. So if you just go to trusty old Google, um, type in Maven Selenium. The first search there should be the repos. Uh, just click on the top one. Let's just go for a uh, pretty stable version. As you can see, these are all um, incremented. So let's just go for, I don't know, for this one, 3.141.0. .1 so straightforward as you like, copy the dependency out. Um, and we're using Maven, but if you're using Gradle, SBT or Ivy or Grape, um, if you're crazy enough to use any of those guys, feel free to take the uh, dependency from there. And then inside the dependency tag, simply paste it in like that. You should see that the enable import has already kicked in. We've now got a live Selenium project, if you like. It, it's that straightforward. So we just make sure that POM saved um, and we are ready to go. However, it won't actually launch a browser yet because we've not got a driver. So... The second part, and the final part really, is to download, in this case, I'm going to use the Chrome driver. So just search Google Chrome driver, surprisingly. Uh, click on Downloads. And as you can see, these are all the, the current released versions. Just see what version of Chrome that you're on, about Google Chrome. I'm on 75. I should probably update, but never mind. Do that another time. Uh, I would download this driver, so I'd click there, let it download. Here's one that I prepared earlier. So my Google Chrome driver is downloaded in here. I'm on Linux, by the way, Linux Mint. And what I'll do is I'll copy that and I'll drop it in to the project to make sure it's in use there. So I'll just paste it in, say yes to that. And we should now have a source folder, a Google Chrome driver and a POM XML. Looks good to me. So if I go into the main Java folder for now, we'll just set something straightforward up here. And if I say I want a new Java class, Selenium starter, it'll do. Okay, so let's do something. So, so we're just going to use our main method there. Obviously, you can use the shortcuts in um, IntelliJ if you're familiar with them. And what we need is a web driver. So we can see we've got the library working. Driver, excuse me, equals new. We want that to be a Chrome driver. So there you go. That's now using the Chrome driver. And if we just do driver.get, let's go to a any website that we like. I don't know. Uh, BBC.go.uk. Let's just make it get this for now. Let's close these down. Obviously we're passing that in as a string. 
and then we'll say driver dot um, window driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. So we'll just make the screen larger. And we'll just put a thread in there to sleep. Let's just leave it up there for three seconds. Let's just add a exception to the signature there for the sleep. And then we'll just do a driver.close for now. No assertions, because this is really straightforward just to show you the basics. Uh, and it's as simple as that. We should be up and running, so let's give that a go. As you can see, it's starting there. It's taking us straight to the BBC. You should leave it up for a few seconds and then close it down. And that is how simple and easy it is, guys. If you need any more videos or want to see some page object or want to see some, uh, some more cool, simple ways, give us a shout. Bye-bye.